Uh, what's up? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. You know how we do. Grab your vices. Um, let's chill, relax, and let's get straight to it. Um, I believe this is episode 28 um, of Straightforward with Miss B, alongside my guest co-host, A.G. What's up? Hey, what's going on with y'all out here today? Hope everybody's doing well. Yes, he's in the middle of a storm down in Alabama, so um, hopefully you don't we don't pick up too much of the background noise of the thunder but during this podcast. But anyway, um, so you had any great things that happened over the weekend, or was it just a, a pretty much relaxed weekend for you? Well, I started on my first studio album, you know. I'm about to start rapping. So that's what I was doing this weekend, getting everything set up. I did a couple songs. I should have everything ready probably by September. I'm going to do a big album release part. I'm going to invite everybody. So be looking forward to it. Good Greens by. That's the name of it. Good Green. Are you serious or are you just joking? I'm dead serious. I've got two songs. I'll let you hear them, hear them a little later. Were you rapping or you singing? I'm a rapper. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I'm coming out the closet with that rap game. Why you ain't never rapped with us in college? I wasn't interested. I just I just became a rapper. Oh, I my just God. I looking at all these people. I said, if they could do it, I could do it. You don't think you're too old at this point to rap? Oh, well, as long as I'm talking about what they want to hear, I'm good. Uh, okay. Is there an age limit on rap now? Um, I mean, if you're really trying to be out there and get money, yeah. Hey, why, why are you just, you, what you trying to do? I'm not destroying your dream. I'm just saying. I'm just <laughs> keeping it real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to see how far you try to go with it. They not signing no old niggas. <laughs> I'm going to run it myself. I don't want to get signed. I'm coming out the trunk. You're going to have to let me listen to these songs, man. Oh, man. They want to play. They right. Well, we bonkers. Well, oh, yeah. You're going to have to get the okay from me. Uh, once I get the okay, I know we going down there. I'm going to send something over there so you to push. Uh, you gonna pay me for that though? Uh, you gotta get the okay. <laughs> I ain't got to pay for the okay. No, nah, you ain't got to pay the okay. It's free. You talking about push, push me, promote, help promote <laughs> the fuck. Anyway, <clears throat> well, um, I wish you well on your endeavors. Okay. Um. Thanks. Y'all heard it here first on the podcast. I forgot the name where he said it was. You said Going Green. Good Green, Good Green, Good Green. is the album. He's two songs in. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give y'all 14. I'm going to give you 14. And um, we going to check him out, y'all, whenever you come and support him. I mean, I'm going to support No matter what my friends get themselves into, no matter if it's, you know, some wild shit or not. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to support you. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write you an intro. I'm going to make you an intro for your podcast. Mm-hmm. How about that? Okay. I'm gonna I'll be waiting. On, I'm going to work on that. Make sure I be heard every time the podcast yeah, come on. Come hey, on. even even Straight if you get kicked off, it's still, yeah, yeah. you still be heard. Yeah, yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> you see how she thinking, man? Right? What you mean? Man, <laughs> uh, <laughs> look. <laughs> All the crazy bull crap you be putting me through. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put you through that. <laughs> If that's what's driving you crazy. If I wish I would have really did something. Hey, hey, go out I with a bang. I hate if I really did something, goddamn. <laughs> oh 
Uh-huh. Yeah, so yeah, just shoot me that MP3, whatever you're going to send it over when you get the the um podcast jingle done. I'll check it out. Might have it done by, the, by the next week. Mm. It's going to lie. Okay. Popping off with this big. She, she. Don't ever. <laughs> don't put that in, don't put that in your jingle. <laughs> anyway, y'all, um my weekend was a pretty cool standard weekend. Um nothing major exciting um happened on my end. Just been trying to get some stuff together for my birthday trip on next month. Um I've been having some issues. Let me do a PSA um to UPS. UPS, dear UPS, um, I don't know if you guys have put a new person on the route, on my route. However, whoever they are, they clearly cannot read addresses. (laughs) I swear the last two or three packages that I have received at home, and they have been from Nike, a pair of shoes, some clothes, they have ended up at my next door neighbor. I mean, the exact same neighbor. Whoever this guy is, he keeps dropping them off at the same neighbor house. And I'm like, why is he refusing to bring it to my house? Um, I had called UPS. Of course, you know, they have the, you know, unfortunately, and this is no discrimination, but the foreign um, customer service reps that answer. So I'm kind of going, you know, going back and forth with her. And I'm telling her, look. I, don't y'all don't the drivers use some type of GPS map? Why isn't it pointing to my house with my packages? Luckily, you know, luckily I got cool neighbors, uh, but and I get the um, you know, get the um, notifications text to my phone, you know, when it's delivered and stuff like that. But if I didn't, it's like my package would be just sitting outside at somebody else's door, you know, and just being you know, more, uh, uh, more success, susceptible of being stolen. And I don't want my pack. I don't want my stuff stolen. This is a nice neighborhood. I don't deal with porch thieves or anything like that, but I do want my packages. So UPS, you know, you guys need to get it together. Well, I had something similar to that to happen, but it wasn't UPS. It was my daughter's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I had a package dropped off last Tuesday, and I didn't see it till day four yesterday. Oh my god! Until I looked on my email and seen they had emailed and delivered it, but I haven't seen it. So I where was them. it? Oh, my daughter said brought it in the house and didn't never tell me. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, that would piss me off. Put it somewhere where I couldn't see it. You know what I'm saying? They didn't sit it where I sit. You know what I'm saying? Sit right. it where I sit at so I know I'm going to see it. Put it somewhere where I can see it if you ain't going to tell me it came. You know? Yeah. So. Mm. I was yeah. about to call and go off on go. <laughs> yeah, they need to They need to give you your stuff ASAP. Tell me it's there. Daddy, you got a package. Right. Yeah, that's the least they can do. Yeah. So I basically, now, I don't really talk to my neighbors that much, um, but just me looking crazy, got my robe on, I'm having to walk down the street, you know, because it's a little ways how our houses are separated from one another. But have to walk down the street. I'm ringing the doorbell. I'm on their ring camera looking crazy as hell, like, hey, it's me again. Um... UPS dropped my package off at your house again. I do apologize. I'm all in the ring. I know they probably looking at me like, what the fuck? So is the package on the porch? Yeah, the packages are being left at their front door. But shit, it's not, it's saying, not my front door. They haven't came out and got the package yet. Just not the thinking. time frame that, that UPS drops off. They usually drop off like in the morning when my neighbor's at work. Oh, okay. But because I work, you know, I'm home, I just walk over, 
when I get my text notification, I walk over and I'm like, hey, all in a ring camera. But I know they're probably frustrated too. Like, why this lady keep? So hmm. you need to start speaking to them folks more. <laughs> I talk to the husband. Now, I see the husband more often than I do the wife. Um, so if I see him, I'll say, hey. But I said the next time, if I see any of them outside, I am going to speak to them about my packages and just let them know, hey, you know, of course, I'm not no porch thief. Um, I had a package. The wife actually brought it over. Unfortunately, I didn't answer my door because I didn't really know who it was at the time, and I don't have a ring camera. Um, but... Um, yeah, she had to bring a package of mine over once, but I'm going to talk to him and just let him know, hey, you know, it's me getting my packages. And UPS, UPS, you need to do better. I think what I'm going to do to try to try to help resolve help resolve the issue is just um, put delivery instructions on there that it should be signature only. That way, you know, they would have to get my signature. Oh, you sign your own name on them all right? Cause I done seen the people drop off packages. I'm mm -hmm. looking at the door. They think get out the truck, put it on the porch, and just walk back. Don't even knock on the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't knock on the door. They don't supposed to knock on the door. Unless, so how you know the un door? unless it's in your instructions, but you have huh? you have some drive. I know that's how you know the way I work does, but. Um, so how are you supposed to let the people know they packaged them? Like I said, you sometimes you may have drivers who will ring the doorbell or knock, but you don't have to. It's not a requirement, but you do have, you know, nice drivers who will go ahead and do that. I know that they had stopped doing that at some carriers because of COVID, and they didn't want drivers just kind of touching, you know, Touching doorbells and stuff like that. Man, please. And you knock on my door. And then yeah. you can walk off. That, that, that. And walk off. Which you already right there by. Right. Right. Now, if I saw you back and tell you somebody stole this package off my porch. And I got it. That's your fault. Because you could have very easily knocked on that door. Mm-hmm. Not saying that ain't nobody gonna steal it if you knock on the door. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's just, I don't. I don't understand this new this new generation, this new world. Oh I was my god! Old, from, from the old world, it's some new shit going on around here. So anyway, um, so um, group chat live. We had our second installment of that on this past Sunday. Um, it went really well. Um, thank you for, you know, those who have um, tuned in or, or watched the replay, um, left comments in the chat and whatnot. We definitely do appreciate it. Um, it will be occurring on Sundays um, around the same time, either 8 or 9 o'clock p.m., um, but we do advise that you go to our YouTube channel at str 8 FWD with Miss B um, and subscribe to the channel and also turn on your um, notification bell so that when I do go ahead and, you know, have the um, the live schedule, you'll be able to see that and be notified that, hey, it's going to start at, you know, such and such time um, on Sundays. But I definitely appreciate you guys for um, for tuning in. What you thought about the last group chat live? Um, it was very interesting. The topics are getting on there. I think the topics are more interesting to me. So I can very I can elaborate a little better on Sundays. And I get to see you guys. You know, I, I miss you guys. So I like to see you. So you, you don't want to be on the podcast? The topics aren't? No, I didn't say that. Did you take, why you take that like that? Because you said I get to elaborate more. No, you supposed to be elaborating well, on this podcast. Like, I, like, I like to see y'all there. That's the part that, that you should have took instead of hearing. No, no. no. I want to see you guys. <laughs> it came out of your mouth. Yeah, it did, but everything's not meant to be how you think it is. So, okay. Whatever. 
Mm-hmm. Anyway. <clears throat> okay, there you go with that. What? I'll speak to you later. <laughs> At the end of the podcast. <laughs> anyway, let's get straight to it. All right. Um. So, uh, um, you know, again, like I said uh, once before on a previous podcast, it just seems as though once a week we are experiencing um, an unfortunate situation here in um, the United States of America. Again, we had another shooting this time. It occurred um, at Greenwood Park Mall. Um, this wasn't as quite a what you would consider a mass shooting. Um, however, um, several people, I believe a total of four people or three people killed and one per- person injured, um, um, you know, like I said, those people were killed by a 20 year old who decided to go to the um, food court and just started shooting. Um, luckily enough, um, there was a young person as well, a 20, 20 year, a 22 year old that was, you know, in the food court, witnessed what was happened, took quick action, much quicker than your local law enforcement, but he took quick action pulled out his own gun that he was licensed to carry and was able to neutralize um, the shooter. So that guy is being praised um, as being, you know, a hero in the town. Um, We praise him where I praise him as well um, for just not having, not, you know, just second guessing himself in that moment, but just doing what he got to do so that he can save others, you know, save these other people, these strangers that he didn't know. Um, apparently the shooter, the 20 year old shooter, um, may have, you know, been posting some Nazi, um, cryptic type of, uh, photographs of weapons and, and just his rhetoric and, and, um, thought process, um, on social media. Um, so it just looks like, again, you know, the same, I guess you same type of, uh, Young fella, I don't know what's going on um, with these, you know, I understand what's going on with the young white kids um, that just, you know, that idolizes and just follows this type of um, not hate speech, but those ideologies. Um, it's, you know, it's just it's it's not a good thing. So um, I would say and like I said, I you know, I don't discriminate. I have love for all races. Um, however, I will state that a lot of times with these mass shootings, we are seeing that they're being committed by um, white people, white young kids, um, parents of these kids. Kids, you know, the only thing that I can say is continue to pray for your families, uh, continue to watch your kids, pay att- pay a lot more attention. Now, if it's just a household who all, you know, all of you guys in the household just kind of, you know, they're on the same way, then, hey, there's really not much I can say for you all. But for those who may be some Christian families, you know, um, spiritual families or not, or just some kind people, just make sure you watch out for your kids and see what's what's happening with them, what type of things they listening to, what type of stuff they're doing online, you know, what are they thinking about and things like that. See if they got any guns or weapons in their room. See if they have any manifestos written down in notebooks somewhere, hidden under their bed or closet. You just have to really pay attention to, you know, have, excuse me, really have to pay attention to your kids these days. So, you know, y'all got to figure it out. What you think about the situation? So we figured out, I think we need to bring back the electrocute and electrocute them in, 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 in less than 60 days. They need to be electrocuted. We taking mass lives. And, you know, ain't no use of us wasting no money, going no long, drawn out trial, feeding you, mm-hmm. putting you up in, in prison for all this time. And we, we know you guilty. No, so we need to electrocute you. Put you in there. We got one here in Alabama called Yellow Mama. I'm pretty sure they get. We'll let y'all use it. Okay. What a, outside of that, give me another thing that could be done or just your thoughts surrounding, I mean, you know, you've mentioned the well, electrocution we, we, we before, limited. but. Yeah, but we limited what we can do because we can't stop people from thinking how they think. 
Mm-hmm. So it's nothing that we can do as, as just like come up with a solution to the problem because everybody got their own mind. And if like if me and you set out to do something, we going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And ain't nothing that a law or something going to stop us from doing it. So if you do it, we need to, that's what they need to know what the consequences are going to be. And hopefully that scares some people off. Mm-hmm. You know? Right. That's what I'm looking at it because I don't see how you can stop it. I really don't. Yeah. Um, moving on. Um, moving on. This is um, you know, on a more positive note. Um, Queen Beyonce. Beyonce knows Carter. She is set to release her next album. I believe the album is called Renaissance. It is going to be. Um, it has sixteen tracks on it. Um, it is dropping on July 29th um, next week. And, you know, the world's kind of uh, waiting on it. Break My Soul, um, a first single, it, it shocked a lot of people because it is a dance song, um, dance music, real kind of upbeat, um, different. And, um, you know, people just kind of, you know, her, some of her fans definitely, you know, they're, waiting on the slow songs or the ballads or, you know, just something of that nature of her, you know, reminiscent of her old work. Um, However, it looks like she is taking a different direction. And I believe the reason for this new album to be a lot more upbeat and fun is because, um, um, because of just the world, we always, you know, like the mass shootings that we're going through is so much negative stuff that's surrounding us. Um, all the time here in America, she wanted to just, you know, this is her way of kind of uplifting, um, uplifting everyone. Um, so I can't wait for the album. I appreciated Drake's album, which was also, um, considered like a dance album as well. This, um, last album that he came out with. Um, so I'm, I'm all for it, you know, um, what you think? Any words for Beyonce? I think when she come out. The real Miss B, she gonna clown. She gonna have a few of them on there for us. Maybe that first one won it, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a few of them on there. Right. Got to be. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Now we we'll be back on here talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is she losing her touch? Right. Like, what the hell going on, man? Is the money getting to her? <laughs> yeah. Is she satisfied? Right, exactly. Yeah, well, we'll be watching out for that. Um, so Beyonce, you know, Beyonce is a multi-millionaire, billionaire. Might as well say billionaire. Her and her husband, um, Sean Carter, aka Jay Z. But speaking of another young billionaire, well, younger billionaire, Kylie Jenner. Um, Kylie Jenner um, is under some scrutiny because um, it was brought out in the news that she actually uses a private jet whom she just recently purchased this private jet for a couple of million dollars. Well, quite a few million dollars. She purchased a private jet. However, she's utilizing the private jet to basically take her right down the street. So if it's like a 45 or hour drive to somewhere, Instead of her being in the car and just driving to that place or having a chauffeur or whatnot drive her to the place, she's deciding to spend money, gas up a private jet just to fly three to five minutes to wherever it is she needs to go. So she's under some scrutiny, um, especially for those climate um, climate control, um, those activists out there and those organizations that's, um, you know, all about not polluting the air. They, they are really upset with Kylie, um, about this situation. How you, um, what's your take on it, man? Hey, she doing something I wish I could do. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> hey, hey, she taking advantage of that motherfucker. She was like, shit, I got this, but I'm finna use it. Right. I ain't no more if I can. If I don't have to drive, I'm not driving. I'm not going to go <laughs> It probably take 45 minutes to get to the airport. She could have been there, but she did. Right. She probably like, <laughs> shit, I ain't spent all this money on this motherfucker for nothing. Yeah, no, yeah, y'all motherfuckers are going to be mad with me. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> you see how... Um, you see how Drake, you know, Drake got Air Drake, his own plane. He 
he be everywhere vacation. Every weekend, That's he's somewhere saying. different. It's mine. I'm paying for it. How you going to tell me what to do with my money? Right. Stop <laughs> something else with the air pollution shit. <laughs> <laughs> this one little plane ain't going to make no difference. Oh, God. <laughs> I bet. I think y'all motherfucking jealous if you ask me. Right. That could be the case. Some haters. Um, Kylie Jenner, her mom, um, uh, Chris Jenner, um, also came out today. Basically, they are they stated that the family is a little bit concerned um for Kylie. Um, Kylie, they concerned with Kylie's spending habits. Um, apparently, you know, the purchase of this plane, like I said, this this jet, this something that she purchased recently, her her own jet. She spent multiple, um, I forgot how many millions of dollars on to purchase it. Uh, but you know, the boss mom herself, um, uh, Chris Jenner, who has you know, um, undeniably created a wealth, uh, a wealth of uh opportunities for her kids. Um, she knows a thing or two about money, um, clearly. Um, but she, she thinks that Kylie, Kylie needs to kind of slow down just because Kylie is considered one of the youngest billionaires in America or in the world itself. Um, just because you have the money doesn't not, you know, doesn't necessarily mean you should spend your money. Um, and the family just thinks that she needs to kind of, you know, just kind of slow down a bit. No haters. <laughs> Some more haters. <laughs> she got more money than all of them. <laughs> right, more haters. But yeah, you know the mom. The mom want, wants generational wealth. You know what I mean? She want to make sure she that be, the kids be, have know. money. You know, and all of that. I think they gonna have. I think it's gonna. <laughs> shit. They still got a current show. Goddamn, they motherfucker ain't ain't ended yet. Yeah. Last I heard, it was fifteen years. How the hell they still got a reality show? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but <laughs> right now I don't know. Maybe you know I would probably I don't know the private plane. If I had the money, I would buy one for sure, without a doubt. But maybe there are other things that they just didn't mention in the article that Kylie kind of spends her money on that may seem for some people as to be a little bit too, you know. You know, something yeah, just had, not needed, you know what I mean? So maybe if, if I had a, a billion dollars, I would have a lot of that shit too. <laughs> a lot of shit I just No, you wouldn't. Like, you crazy. Nah. I'd be spending so much money. You crazy. I don't know. Well, you must be a different type of tourist, honey, because every tourist I know are pretty if good. I'm a tourist, yes, I am tight, but I got a billion. I'm I'm ready. <laughs> Yeah, y'all, y'all tight. Like you not finna spend your money I'm like that. I'm gonna be tight with some money. I know I got so much money. Ain't used to being tight no more. Okay, well. Fuck you finna be tight. You got a billion. That don't make no sense. Because once you get a bit, hey. once you get a billion, see that th these be broke people conversations right here. We broke, right? <laughs> Compared to them, these broke people conversations. A rich per person conversation will be. Once you make a billion, you are trying to make two. You're not trying to make okay. three. You're trying to make but I, four. But, but sometime like that, I'm just gonna sacrifice a hundred million and them dollars go. <laughs> I'm gonna sell a hundred million on real estate. Say this for me. <laughs> do whatever the hell I want to do with. Okay. And them other goddamn ninety, what it was ninety nine. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave them over there. You know what I'm saying? But this hundred, I'm gonna run crazy with this motherfucker. Okay. By the time you buy this big ass house, by the time you buy all the cars you want, by the time you buy your wife the shit she want, by the time you buy your kids and your grandkids the shit they want, you know what I'm saying? The money start trinkling down, and that's you be done spent more than a hundred million dollars. That's gonna go quick. Okay, I, listen, that's what the gonna kick back in. That's what it what? <laughs> the tower is gonna kick back in. Exactly. What's my hundred million gone? That's when it's time to get tight again. Yeah. See, that's what I look at it. The hundred million gone, cool. I'm sorry. Look at, <laughs> look at all. That's what Kanye be doing. They said that motherfucker bought a house somewhere for like, um, ooh, I think they say you paid like 60 million for the motherfucker, then gutted the whole house, and then just left it. Mm -hmm. He ain't even worried about the house no more. He gutted the whole house. It just. Yeah. Go do something else and just left that motherfucker sitting there. He'll come back to it later. 
Come back to I thought they said he paid like six to eight million or some shit. I don't know where this house at, and, and that's a lot of money. I don't even see how he paid that much money for a house, but anyway. Yeah. This motherfucker, they showed the house before he gutted it, and they showed what it looked like now. Mm-hmm. And they took everything out <laughs> there. There was some concrete out there now. <laughs> wow. So if yeah. you got that money, man, I don't know. I ain't made that money not to spend it, I'm telling you. I'm not saying, yeah, I'm definitely not saying not spend it, but you're going to, if especially, you just have to, it's so much other shit that go with it. You know what I'm saying? Having some type of, uh, you know, investments, businesses that's helping you kind of recoup that money back that you're spending out, you know, oh, yeah, shit you, like you're that. You're constantly making money now. You ain't just got a, a billion and now you ain't been to make no more money. You just spending money. We know we ain't doing that. We still making money. Yeah, well, it's a possibility that people can go broke. We see it every day with celebrities, yeah, celebrities and athletes and whatnot. They have they all these no millions, billions. and they go broke. They ain't had some millions. They ain't had no billions. <laughs> that's a difference, bro. Nah, I, I don't think difference. there's no difference. What? Then a B? You got to spend a hundred million ten times to get a B. These folks ain't even who you talking about. And hey, what they got? A, a, somebody win the lottery with a what a what two hundred million or something? I'm not saying. I'm talking about just. I'm speaking of just money and being wealthy in general. I'm not saying millions versus a billion. I'm just saying people. I'm just saying a person can have a lot of money, whether or not you a thousandaire, a millionaire, a billionaire. You can have a lot of money and you can lose your shit. Even billionaires. We see it every day. You might see Zuckerberg or, you know, whoever else, Elon Musk, all they billions tied up in certain shit, and they, the, the market could just drop, and they could just they can lose billions. Yeah, That's what right. I'm saying. Yeah, but we th- we not we thinking positive. But we this we is a, this supposed to be a positive time. podcast today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, um, anybody out there who who is not as frugal with their money, or they don't have um, great financial literacy for themselves. Um, I would just suggest if you do make a lot of money, don't spend all your money on dumb ass shit. That's just gonna be my, you know, overall advice. So my advice, don't let A G get a B. Cause a hundred mil gonna be all me. <laughs> yeah, basically. Come on for the ride, baby. So we ride. Mm. Um, next on the list, speaking of the Kardashian clan, um, with the Jenner's Kardashians, um, uh, Tristan, uh, Tristan, oh, excuse me, Thompson was spotted out with another woman, um, as always. Um, this was actually shortly after, um, it was announced that Chloe, um, Chloe Kardashian, um, uh, one of his, uh, baby mothers, um, she actually plans to have her second child, um, with Tristan. Um, however, they will be utilizing a surrogate um, this time around. So my, I guess my question in my head um, when I put this um, story on the list is that, I mean, you come on, how much is too much? Thing. Like a man that keeps cheating on me, I just don't see myself. I mean, although they're, they're supposedly not in a relationship anymore, but however, that man basically has kind of run her whole, you know, her whole situation in the mud and the news just made her look so stupid. Uh, but yet I understand you may want your, your, all of your kids to have the same father. Um, but sometimes some situations, man, you need, you need to just move on, move on to the next burn, man. That ain't what the Kardashian built on. All them kids got to have the same dad. That's they the they ain't got to. That's what they that's what they do. No, everybody else's kids got the same dad. Let me see. Mm. Nobody got no kids by number one baby yeah, dad. You're right. Except Chris. I mean Chris, the mama, she got two baby dads. Mm-hmm. But ain't nobody else got none. So 
I don't know about that. Well, you better choose wisely who the first, you know, first sperm going to come from. Um, Because after that, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. It's just crazy, that whole little situation. But, Chloe, you know, keep your head up, child. I hope you move on. I know, you you know, if y'all can go ahead and use the surrogate for this child, of course, all kids, you know, they didn't ask to come into this world. So um, you're definitely going to love on them and, you know, cherish them. Um, both of you guys going to make sure that they, you know, want for nothing and, and raise well. Um, but at some point, it's like, I don't know. It's just for your own, own sake and sanity and happiness. Sometimes we just we just need to we just need to go ahead and just move on. But, hey, I'm not a Kardashian, so... At the end of the day, my opinion does not matter. Kids are already millionaires. We just talked about that. Generational wealth. So either way it go. They starting off on on the plus side. <laughs> so Yeah. Um, but anyway, like I wanted to take this opportunity for this particular podcast before we get out of here on today, um, just considering, um, you know, all of the negativity, whether it's in our own personal lives or things that we see in the news and media um, or just even in our environments that surround us on a day to day basis, um, whether you're at work, um, just out in your neighborhood uh, whatever the case may be, um, I definitely think that all of us need to balance it out um, with a bit of positivity. And that's kind of what I've been doing lately is just trying to, um, you know, set my mind to just have more positive thoughts in it. Um, even though, you know, those that know me, you know, I'll cut somebody out in a heartbeat. That's just kind of my second nature. Um, but at the same time, like I said, you know, in order for um, people to definitely experience positive outcomes in their life, whether it's going for the new job, whether it's making more money at your job, whether it's, you know, um, your health and just making sure everybody in your family is is doing well along with yourself um, health wise, you know, things of that nature It's always great to just kind of position um, your mind um, and your life to be on the more uh, positive side. So I did ask the question um, here on the list, how do we go about living more positive and uh, are we being affected by negative media in our environments? Um, of course, yes. You know, we hear negative stuff um, all the time, whether it's the music that we listen to. I know me, I like listening to trap music. Um, that's kind of like my favorite type of rap music is trap music. And, you know, um, unfortunately, they talk about shooting guns and, and, you know, calling women hoes and bitches and all of that. But that's kind of like one of those things that I just like enjoy listening to. Um, and then we see all the shootings, um, whether it's on our local news or national news as well. We see a lot of just destruction going on in our society. So, yes, you know, we are being impacted by that and affected by this um, on a daily basis. Um, and the way that we go about just trying to just make sure that our own um, – own mentals is um not fully being affected by these negative thoughts because that that causes negative energy to to seep inside of you and it just it changes your mood you know I don't know if people out there have seen themselves just kind of you could be you could wake up you know being joyful one day and then the happiest mood ever you like okay today gonna be a good day then the next thing you know you might end up you know getting in your car. You might see an accident on the street driving somewhere, and then not only that, you might start listening to the radio. There's some craziness come on the radio you're listening to. And slowly throughout that day, you can actually just kind of see, if you're really paying attention to yourself, you'll see how your, you know, personality just kind of 
changes, you know. You wake up one day being happy, and then by midday or damn sure by the evening, all of that changes. Your mood change. You might have a family member call you out the blue, you know, might text you some bullshit, you know, and that just completely change your attitude. Have you ever noticed that? Yeah, it's hard to stay positive for a whole day, a whole full day. You know, because so much stuff can happen to change change your mood. You know, like you said, your mood is all your mood. You wake up in a good mood and you, like you say, you get in your car, ride down the street, somebody pull over in front of you, shoot you a bird, goddamn, there you go. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. And then the media is built on on negative press, you know. They're gonna put the positive stuff in there, but they're not gonna leave out. They look for that's what sells, you know. The drama. Mm-hmm. So so we always gonna get that. We just gotta know how to separate it. Right. Yeah, so you know, like I said, how do we go about living a more positive positive um, you know, life itself? So for me, I think that entails, if it is, you know, the negative news we listen to, of course, um, I myself, the only time I catch news is I catch it online. Um, I do have the news app on my phone. So it's like a combination of all, pretty much all news outlets just come to one place. Um, Everybody who has an Apple phone, I just go there, catch up on news. I don't necessarily look at news on the television um, at all. Um, But, you know, so I'm reading articles mainly. Um, If I'm seeing something negative, if I choose to look at that negatively, that's one thing. But, of course, watching the news or reading articles, um, that's definitely a personal choice, and you have the preference not to, to not to read it. Um, so I think that's one thing that could be done. People just take that that preference um, of theirs, and as far as like um, seeing and reading um, negative news, they don't have to do it. They don't have to watch the news at night or in the mornings or read articles. So I think that's one way that um, you can just kind of block out the negativity if you're dealing and if you're on the street and you know you're on the highway or the road and you may feel some road rage come along you know just take a take a breath you know if if even if you see somebody in front of you swerving or driving crazy um you know learn not to necessarily just react to that React to that. You know, people are crazy these days. Even with road rage, you may, you know, yelling at somebody in the car next to you and that person pull out a gun and shoot you right there on the road, on the highway. So we definitely uh-huh. don't want that to happen. So just learn to just, you know, not not retaliate. Don't react to it. Just let them do, let them drive crazy and do what they do. If that means you slowing down, um, pulling over to the next lane or, you know, even getting off at the next exit or what have you, um, just so you can just kind of pull yourself out of that immediate environment, then, you know, that's a way you can definitely um, keep that negative energy, you know, away from you as well. Um, Do you have any suggestions? Uh, Yes. um, Basically, you just got to try to stay focused on uh, on positive energy, have positive energy, stay focused, situation happen, be able to just bounce back from it and just keep positive thoughts in your head always and just try to do positive things during the course of the day. It's 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 you really, it's how you think that's what's going to make every, you have a positive day. It's, it's your thoughts. So you just got to keep your thoughts in the right place and don't let nothing, don't let nothing take you off course mm-hmm. that's how i feel yeah um i agree with that um so you know everybody just like i said sometimes we can see the negativity there in front of us we most times we do have the ability to move ourselves away from that so if you do have that if you get like a, a mean text or something on the phone Instead of reacting in a mean way and changing your attitude at that moment, 
you know, maybe just, you know, hit them with a bit of kindness, take something back, kindness, you know, even if it's just one word, okay, or one word, cool, you know, instead of, you know, retaliating at that individual, then then do that. There's always way, ways to reposition your attitude and your response as something negative, and I think that's something that we all need to begin to learn, um, learn how to do, or if you already know how to do that, um, begin practicing it more because just the energy, overall energy around all of us um, is just a little bit too negative and it's, it's, it's damn sure a little bit too negative for me. So I wanted to end today's pod on that note and we're going to get out of here. All right. All right. All right we'll see y'all next week. Lord's willing. Mm-hmm. As always, um, don't forget to subscribe to our platform. We're on all streaming platforms, Spotify, Audible, Google, Apple. We're everywhere at Straightforward with Miss B. Um, also, social media. Follow us at um, STR8FWDMSB on social media channels. Follow us there at TikTok. Um, I definitely need to grow our TikTok count. So follow us for sure on TikTok. But yes, we're on IG, Twitter, Facebook, and everywhere else. And thank you again for always listening. Um, check us out on Sunday on YouTube, Sunday night for Group Chat Live as well. And until next time, peace out.